everyone. How are you this morning? Sorry, I was a bit late joining, or rather, I'm early joining, but the delay was a bit long. And we are live. That's really all a girl needs to know. Hope you are well this morning. It's a bit grey here, but not too bad. Just trying to make sure that everything is okay, which it seems to be. So let me know when you join. Always good to know that people are here. Uh, we're doing something a little different today. So I'm just making sure that everything really is okay. Because when I got back from the chiropractor this morning, things were not quite as I would have wanted them on my laptop. And it's been so good since I've been, been back from Norway. Um, so yes, so I was at the chiropractor this morning. Hello, Leanne. Good morning from Texas. Hello, Carol. Hello, Margaret. Evening. Morning, Shaz. So, yes, chiropractor this morning. <laughs> Jim yesterday. Oh, dear Lord. Uh, you may remember that, um, that everything good, excellent. Um, I do small group personal training. Gray in New Hampshire. Rain later this afternoon. Oh, joy. That's going to be lovely, Karen. Yeah, we're maybe getting rain. Don't know. But then it's supposed to be hot for the rest of the week. Anywho, so yes, I do small group personal training. And it's been pretty much the same for the nearly two years that I've been going. We've been doing very much the same style of exercise. It's not the same every time, but the same style. They've changed it up. We're now doing... Oh, I'm going to have to look this up. Morning, Nora. I'm going to have to look up what they call it. Let's just say we had our first session yesterday. <sighs> yeah. Um, oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Let me, let me. Oh, no, that's not how you spell it. Uh, there we go. Um, they call it hypertrophy or hypo, hy, hypertrophy. I don't know. Anyway. It was like killing us. Um, going down the stairs, because the, the gym is on the first floor. Going down the stairs, we were all a little tentative because our knees were not great. When I put my seatbelt on when I got in the car, I almost couldn't manage it because it hurt so much. So, yeah, I'm a little frail this morning. Been to the chiropractor who has managed to sort me out a bit. Um, and I'm throwing myself back at it on Thursday. Different exercises on Thursday, though. Anywho, we've got something a little different today. We're going to be making paper flowers using the paper florist dies. So I'm going to flip the camera down because I bet some of you don't know what I'm talking about. Right, so these are the paper florist dies. You get lots of dies. You get 18 in all, but lots of them are doubles, triples, quadruples. So, yeah but 18 dies. They are on, I want to say, page 33 of your catalogue. They are on page 33. So they're featured, if you like, here. Oh, let's get the other light on. Hopefully that will help. Morning, Patricia from New York. Um, state or New York, New York? Because I know there are it's like Washington and Washington, D.C. Any Washington State and Washington, D.C. Um, but yes, are you New York, New York, New York or just New York? Hello, Jules from Auckland in New Zealand. So, yes, they are here. Um, they are also some of the flowers here on the back. And you will find them under the dies on page 165. They are a standalone die set, so you may not have spotted them, um, but they are a standalone die set. So I thought it would be fun to use them, um, give you some hints and tips, and we're going to decorate a box that I've made already. It's made out of Pebble Path, because I thought it would be um, a nice colour to brighten up. So this is just made out of half a sh of sorry a sheet of um, pebble path. I've taken the width 
as is hello Carol from Texas and hello Kay from the UK. Um, so I've just taken a piece of pebble path and cut it at five and a half inches twice and then trimmed like a sixteenth of an inch off a long edge and a short edge for the base. That way you get a really nice, easy fitting lid. So that's what we're going to be decorating. I have done some prep because this is not quick otherwise. So we're going to start by making a rose and we're making it out of Daffodil Delight. And um, I'm going to be, I'm going to try and use green glue, which works. Don't get me wrong, it works. My question is whether we're going to have enough time. Otherwise, I will switch to glue dots. So to make a rose, you want these larger dies. Hello, Wendy. Um, I hope you got my email. Sorry, you've had to chase me. Um, so I've got six of the large petals. I've got two of these in both sizes. And those are cut from this. So it's one pass of this die and two passes of this die to get the petals. And then I've used this die as the centre. So you need a bone folder, the courage of your convictions and not much else. So I'm just going to give the leaves petals a bit of shape. They come with a slit already in them and all you need to do is having shaped them. Thank you, Wendy. That's very kind. It will be out. I've got it all. I've got it all parceled up. I say parceled up. Look, baggies, baggies with paper. They're all ready to go. Um, I'm just getting lots of stuff in parcels ready to do one visit to the post office. Um, so, yes, they come with a slit already made and you're just going to glue them together. I'm going to do all of the shaping, then all of the gluing because um, it's just easier that way. You don't have to do the shaping, but it does kind of make them a little prettier. So, yes, I've got lots of things to take to the post because I've got team birthday stuff to send out. I've got team rewards to send out. One of the team just hit qualified. She's doing so well. Um, so, yes, that happened this month. The commissions have just finished, posted. For those of you who aren't demonstrators, you're going to not know at all what I'm talking about. But trust me, for demonstrators, it means something. Hello, Leslie. Now, why is that doing that? That's better. For some reason, my chat is not refreshing quickly enough for me. So this is a kind of slowish bit. But then once we've made all of the flowers, we are going to put them all together and it's going to come together really quickly. So when you're doing these, do be aware that this is obviously going to be a, um, a point that is um, fragile. So I hold the base of the petal just so that they're getting notification after notification today. That's my smart speaker telling me that there's something else arriving. Don't know why it's telling me that, but right. OK, so we'll come to this in a bit. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is add glue to all of my petals and I'm just going to well all of my large petals I'm just going to add a scribble to the left when I'm looking at it the left side of the slit you can do it either to the left or to the right my recommendation would be that you do them all the same And the reason I'm doing those as, you know, all at once is so that then all I have to do is piece, piece them together. I mean, hold them together. Third spinal surgery on the 15th. Oh, Leslie. That 
is not good. So just hold those together for a little bit. If you find that it's not gluing quickly enough for you, holding quickly enough for you, probably put too much glue on. Um, you don't need much. It's very good glue. It's very sticky, but you do need to not use too much. Don't worry too much about the fact that this is going to give it a corner because you're going to get this point here. We are going to deal with that. Well, actually we're not. We're just going to ignore it, but it's not a problem. You do end up getting a bit gluey, but... So, oh, that's something I was going to talk about while I'm doing this. Let's pop that down. Let me just show you a card that I thought I'd brought over, but I... Oh, no, it is in there. It is. I can feel it. There it is. So, I posted this card last night on my blog and on my Instagram feed. And... I'm entering it in Kylie Batucci's International Blog Highlights. Um, so if you would like to support me in that, the prize is to do a blog hop with Kylie. Um, the first 10, the, so the most, most popular 10 cards get to hop with Kylie. Um, so if you either go to my blog hop, my blog post or my Instagram feed, you will see that and how to vote. So I'm doing a little blob of glue in the middle of these and I have brought my piercing mat, mitt mat out for a reason. I didn't want one of those to have glue in. Never mind, it'll be fine. Oh actually no I do, I do need it to have glue in. I forgot. Right, so we want these to go offset so like that and I know they're all face kind of off the mat at the moment it's fine it's fine and then this is going to go there try and get them as central as possible it's not vital if you don't and then this is going to go in the middle and that's Blackberry Bliss because the middle of um, flowers, particularly roses, do have a tendency to be darker. Thanks, Leslie. Already voted. Oh, Barbara, you're lovely. And welcome. I didn't know you were there. Your eldest grandson just got married at 21. Ooh. Ooh. Right, so I'm going to actually take the top of my Take Your Pick and just press into that because I want to give it some shape. Then I'm going to press with my take your pick and into my, the hole in my, when I have a fist, a light fist, this just helps with shaping. So yes, anyone who would like to vote for my card, this is my card. Um, actually using some bits that were left over from one of last week's lives because I did say I was going to. Right, now we need to attach these to these. There are only six of these petals and there are eight of each of the others because we've got two lots of four. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Barbara, you can only you can vote for five, but you can only vote for each entry once. So, yes, if you if you want to if you want to load the odds in my favour, only voting once will help. But don't feel that you have to, because if there are others that are other projects that take your eye, then we should be supporting everyone. So again, I'm adding the adhesive. That's slipped a bit, but it's fine. So I'm adding the adhesive first, and then I'm just going to aim for roughly the middle and just add these behind. And I'm going to, again, offset them 
and obviously this time because I've got three I'm going to offset them into thirds and this is where if you find that this is all a bit much you can use glue dots oops that one needs to go in a bit more there we go a bit more than that actually that's better let me put that one back so I'm just going to hold those together hello Pam And while the glue is just a little tacky still, you can move things round and then fill in those gaps with the other petals. This is the most complicated and it's only complicated because I've made it complicated. You got this die set this week together with the Darling Details bundle. Oh, lovely. But yes, this is one of the best, most hidden um, die sets in the catalogue. I do wish they wouldn't hide things at the back so we can't see them. There are lots of standalone dies in this year's annual and I think people are missing them. Right, so that's kind of done. I'm going to leave it for the moment. We will come back to actually finish it, put leads on and those sorts of things. The next flower we're going to make is one that's like this. And this uses, this is in Fresh Freesia, uh, this uses this die here, so this one. Now these petals are already offset uh, and you've got two sizes, you've got large and small. Again, I have done more than just the two, so I've got two large and two small and I'm doing it slightly differently with this one uh, and these are the centers you get two of these dies and they are these here so I'm going to start by gluing my centers together which is really easy because all we need to do is pop a little spot of glue and then just line them up kind of with the other bit of the die so where there's a leg put a point and where there's a point put a leg if that makes sense even if it doesn't make sense that's what we're doing hello Brenton Pam's just got back from dropping Mouski off at the vets oh clean and extracted teeth I miss a comment yes if yes Barbara if you want your vote to be more powerful, then vote for your favourite only. Absolutely. Yep. Hello, Jan from South Florida. Now, this time I'm going to do the gluing and then the shaping. Just to be different. I'm going to leave the other glue until later. I'm just offsetting a little because we do like a little bit of offset. It's all going to be a bit loose at this stage because I, I haven't pressed down. But once I put this one on, I can press down. And there is no right and wrong way of lining these up. So those I've pressed down. Now I'm going to shape them. I just find it easier for these to shape in situ and again hold the base of your petal because it's a weak point and I'm just going to kind of do an area and then move on just be gentle don't pull too hard it's like that ribbon that you can get that you can curl it's that same idea we're just using a bone folder so we're gentle but the results are amazing and I will show you some of the others that I've made that I've done in a slightly different way once we've finished this so that you can have some other thoughts got glue on my thumb that's now coming off on my card it's fine 
On the subject of Kylie and Bruno, if you want any of their badges, I've got a green glue that I was lucky enough to get when I was on the Norway trip. Um, my friend got ink pads. They are not going to be ordering anymore. So if you want any, now is the moment to get them. Your paper florist dies arrived today, did they, Brenton? Yay! Leslie likes the fuller look of this flower. Good. Right, so again, I'm going to go and make some shape with, you know, anything you fancy. And a bit of into your fist as well helps. So that's that. Then I'm going to shape this. And again, I'm using the large ball on my take your pick for that. We will be adding some gems as well. But I'm going to do that all in one go. So a little bit of glue in the center and pop that in. and push there we go so this is gorgeous grape no it's not it's highland heather and that's fresh freesia so there are those whoops there are those two now obviously you could mix and match the petals colors what was that you did what was that that you had in your hand this this is the take your pick with the ball end and the scrubby thing. You've seen lots of creations, have you, Brenton? I've been searching and haven't seen any, or very few, but I do love it. So yes, I was using just, it's a ball tool, so a scoring tool. Um, and, your t and the top of my take your pick and the flowers. Did that answer your question, Jen, or did I misinterpret what you were asking? Which I could have done. Um, now I'm on Lemon Lolly and the cross petals, which are these ones here. You get four petals in one pass, two large, two small. I should say I'm not using all of the petals today, just some. Or not all of the dies, I should say. Right, so these I am going to shape as I go because there are quite a lot in a the tiny little thing. This, you mean, the green glue. This is a green glue badge that Kylie and Bruno gave me when I was on the incentive trip. Only earned by less than 1% of demonstrators, not typical of your average demonstrator's experience. This. this is a badge, a pin badge that Kylie and Bruno have been doing for a while now, but they're about to, they're not going to order any more. So it was just to say, if you wanted any, now is the time to do it. And that's Kylie Batucci at KylieBatucci.com. Hopefully that's the right thing. So again, I'm holding the base of the petals as I'm going. No, I didn't buy it in Norway. I was given it. Yes, this. My green glue badge. So yes, Kylie and Bruno sell them. They do trimmer, they do um, seal, they do all sorts of things. So again, curling all of these. You don't have to curl them all, you can curl some and not all of them. Just gives it a different look. Do you know, I actually didn't spend any money in Norway. Oh no, I tell a lie, I bought some coffee and pastries. 
well, more like bread, but sweet. Excellent, Jen. So again, I'm going to add glue to the centers. And I'm going to start with the large ones. And I'm going to do a complete offset. So bang, slap in the middle. And then I'm going to offset to one side and then the other side. The downside of doing these, getting these gluey all at once is that you then haven't got anywhere to press. So I'm going to pop that one on and hold that in place. It's a little off center. It's fine. Remember, flowers are not um, exactly perfect. That's what I'm looking for. Lemon lolly is lovely, Leslie. You've never heard of Kylie and Bruno. Oh, wow. OK. Kylie is, I think, still the number one demo in Australia. Um, or is that Donna Gray now? who I spent a lot of time with actually, Donna. Um, she and I are on a design team together. She invited me to her design team. Um, so again, I'm doing the offset. But Donna was there with her daughter, who is delightful, may I say. Oh, that's good to know, Margaret. Although I think 10 a.m. East Coast time is probably crack of sparrow where I am. But thank you for sharing that. She is hysterical in a good way. I mean, she's they, she and Bruno are, are delightful. Um, so again, I'm doing, you know, manipulation with this because I want it to be bigger. And this one, I'm not putting a centre in. There are centres that you can die cut that you can put in, but I'm not. Right, so that's all of the flowers that I'm going to make. Let me show you what I have already made that we will be using. So there's this one, which we've already made, which we made together. This one's in bubble bath with the leaves on the back. Um, oh, and those actually, and, the, and these two. Those are the only ones I was going to show you um, for things I've already made that we're using on the box. I will show you some others once we've finished, which is slightly different. So yes, if you like this card, if you can go and vote for it via my website is great or via Inst my Instagram is great. Otherwise you can go straight to Kylie Batucci's website and vote for this card. That would be fantastic. Now I am going to switch to glue dots for putting this together. So this is my box made out of per pebble path. And I'm going to have that there. I'm going to add some more leaves to things. That there. And these can tuck in underneath with that. Then we can have a ribbon there and we're good to go. Right, okay, so I'm going to add some leaves to the back of my other rows. So I've got these leaves which are from the set. I'm just going to give them a little bit of shape, not a lot, just a little bit. And you want to be able to see them. Obviously, it'd be a good idea if you could see them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one on and then I'm going to stick the other one to that leaf because then you can use that as a sort of jumping off point. So this one will come there. So it's much further up. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. I have got another one of those to tuck in and I've got some, some of these longer ones. Did he, Leslie? He knew them. Wow. Because, yes, he was an architect until it became obvious that 
doing this with Kylie was going to be probably more fun. Right, so glue dot So that's going to go there. Now I am going to take the lid off because I'm going to need to press from underneath. So that's that one in place. I'm going to pop this one on. Oops, that's a bit loose. Let's attach that a bit better. That's going to go in there. And the key to this is to find a kind of flat bit. So I'm going to call this a flat bit. And if I overlap the glue dot with those leaves, that will help stick them together. There we go. So that's going to go just there. Let's flip those off for the moment. And then we can add these. And then we have that one kind of there-ish. And again, I'm going to choose a flat bit. You don't necessarily want them to be all perky and upright. A bit of dimension and shape. Oh, thank you, Patricia. We have still got centres to put in them, but I'm going to do that once they're in place. I love that we've got these dies because they are just that little bit different. Oh, bless you, Leslie, that's so kind. And that one there, so let's just press those all into place. So we've got another one of these rose leaves, so I'm going to tuck that in. Hmm up here I think. Yeah we'll go in under there. So this one I am going to give a bit more shape to. Oh thank you Jan. Have a good day at work. So giving that a bit of shape so I've curled it that way and this way and again I'm going to use a glue dot for this. It's just easier when you're putting things in place to use a glue dot. So that's going to go in there. I kind of want some foliage coming out from, can that go in there? No, I'll leave that for the moment, I think. I definitely want some coming out from there. I'm gonna rip that end off. Oh, thank you, Brenton. Again, I'm going to rip the end off. Oh, runny nose. the end on for no real reason other than there is space so I will. Thank you Nora. I'm going to have to add some more glue to that just to keep it kind of where it needs to be. 
I don't know if we need this. Unless I'm going to pop it in. Yep, that's where that's going to go. Rip the end off. Karen, I'm afraid it's one of those just practice. It's not actually that difficult. And I have made a bit of a meal of them and as in I've made lots of layers. Right, so now we need some centres and I found that the tinsels work really nicely. So let me find the tinsels. Is it that one I used? Yes, the tinsels. Oops, knocking things over right, left and centre. So this is the Tinsel Gems 4-pack. Thank you, Kay. I, the plan was to choose a background that was going to make them really pop. So, no, I don't want that end. I want that end. These are, I don't know what colour they are. And, you know, I don't actually care. Um, but I'm going to put the pink in the middle of the roses. Because they kind of work. Now, you may want to add some more adhesive. Um, I think these are Lemon Lime Twist. They may be Lemon Lolly. I, again, frankly, don't care. They are going to be the centre of my flowers. And I'm going to use different sizes, even though these are going to be the same flower. Flowers are not the same. So there's that. Let me pop my lid on, grab my pebble path ribbon, one, two, three, four, that one. I know that's a bit of a, you know, weird way of doing it, but I want my bow to be in amongst the ribbon. Um, Leanne, I just take a sixteenth of an inch off, uh, or if you're in metric, one and a half, two millimetres. The tiniest bit is the answer. Um, you really don't want too much difference in size. Am I going to be able to tie this the right way? going to come over there. It's not going to be the best bow I've ever tied, but it will do its job. Or not. No, don't like that at all. Let's see if I can tie it from this side a bit better. Right, the problem is I'm tying it the wrong way. I want my tails down here. Inspire it. <laughs> oh, thank you, everyone. That's better. Right, let's trim that end. Scooch that up a little bit, like that. Let's have the leaves under the bow, like that. Will it scooch up a bit more? Just a little bit. So that is my finished project, or it would be if my ribbons were the same length. So there you are, one jazzed up box. So, the ones I made last night, I uh, say, I will 
be going in and adding a bit more adhesive just to hold everything in place a little more because some of these are a bit like this one's a bit loose but I'll do that off camera so these are the ones I made last night so this is that rose again all of the ones I'm about to show you I made out of the smooth white not the thick the smooth apart from the leaves on this and the centers but mm, in fact only the central on this and the yellow one I'm about to show you so this is with petal pink um, blends you've never made a box oh we're gonna make a box we'll make it in two seconds because um, it's so easy so I just colored to get the gradient I don't even know if you can see that but that's that one then this is lemon lolly and again I've got shading on that with the same center this is balmy blue on white and this one which is my nod to a delphinium is blueberry bushel so those are the ones i made last night but they're all woo they're all made out of white card which works slightly differently because it's a softer card smoother card anyway box right um grab a color oh it's gonna be bright but i think it'll work so so this is obviously not to go with these thank you everyone dog rose yep yeah, yep yeah, it could be a dog rose in different colors well this can definitely be a dog rose an anemone yes yeah so this is not for this so i'll pop that to one side for the moment so box this was the box i made last night in preparation so piece of standard card doesn't matter how big it is for this this is just a piece of card no you can make it in yep you can make it in eight and a half by eleven as well i'll change the dimensions slightly i did three and three five and three quarter inches i'm going to do it doesn't matter so five and th five and three quarter inches slice so i'm just leaving the width five and three quarters but for this one because this is going to be my base this one i'm coming back not quite a sixteenth of an inch and sixteenth of an inch is that little um that little measurement so i'm coming back about i don't know slightly under a sixteenth of an inch and take that off so that is my waist and then I'm going to take off not quite a sixteenth of an inch off this side. Now, it's slightly trickier here because this is an eighth of an inch and you want a sixteenth. So you're going to measure up to this, to the side of the gutter. Um, but you want to be just short of this edge of the gutter and slice. So those are your two, so this is the base. I don't know why I've just put that away, but I have. Um, so if I line these up, you possibly won't see, but maybe if I get the light just right, there is a, ve this one, the bottom one is very slightly bigger than the top one. So uh, I might as well grab my scoring tool as I have it here what I'm going to do now is score each edge at one inch I am not doing one inch five inches or whatever I'm doing one inch one inch one inch one inch because then I know that this is one inch all the way around same again because I'm having my box an inch deep. That would be better if it was straight. There we go. So all the way around, just one inch. I can't remember which is the top or the bottom, but it will become apparent 
when I put it all together. And it doesn't matter what that measurement is because you're going all the way around. Karen likes making boxes. I love a box. I don't make them enough. I must start doing more of them. And in fact, um, I am going to be shaking up what I do. I have mentioned that I'm going to start a beginner's class, for want of a better word. It's not paid for. Uh, series, that's probably the best word. Um, so I will be starting that very soon. Um, I'm going to be doing more boxes, I'm going to be doing more videos, I am going to be doing fewer lives, and they are going to be a little shorter. I haven't decided when and I haven't decided how long, but they are going to be fewer of them, um, because it's just, it's the summer and they're getting in the way of my life. Um, right, I am going to cut these so that all of the, when I cut on a score line, the score is going into the square corner, whichever end it is, so I'm going to cut down the side of the score. The score line is here, but I'm then going to cut it away. And I'm going to cut it away there as well. So you're going to have a wedge. Yeah. Uh, Leslie's never made a box either. Okay. So again, here's the score line. It's going into the square. So yes, things are going to change. I am determined to do less work with more result, which hopefully will work. I procrastinate too much, so that's going into the square and we're cutting it away into the square and cutting it away. like that. So we've got, they're not rectangles, they're rhomboids or something. can't remember my, I used to be good at maths. Uh, we're not, I'm not cancelling the lives completely, Karen. I'm just not going to do two of them a week. I'm only going to do one. Brenton likes making boxes. Has she, Margaret? Great minds think alike. And we didn't even chat about it. I mean, we talked about lots and lots of things. So, Karen, I'm not going away. I'm just doing, I'm going to be doing one less live a week. Um, I'm trying to work out a time of day that suits everyone. Bearing in mind that my market is Europe. I won't go away too much, Leslie, don't worry. But I have actually been making myself ill, seriously. Um, I, before I went to Norway, I had to kind of hide a bit. Um, I was doing much less, I was doing what I needed to do business wise, but I wasn't doing much more, um, because I have been not well. So I'm afraid my health is going to come first and there we are. Brenton's making dinner. Chicken parmigiana. Oh, and broccoli. Oh. Ah. Oh. I enjoy doing the lives, don't get me wrong. But they are, particularly during the summer, they are something that I have to work my life around. Which, if it's a nice sunny day, which, as we know, those of us who live in the UK, the sunshine doesn't always happen on the weekend. Um, and part of running your own business is supposed to be that you can work when it suits you. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so that's absolutely health must come first. I had a long, meaningful conversation with my husband, who is a very good sounding board. Um, and I have to say, bless him, a couple of days ago, having not asked me the question, because I said I was going to think about it when I was in Norway, um, he said, so what are you going to do? And so I told him that this is what I'm going to do and see how things go. Right, okay, so I put seal 
plus on each of the corners and I've done it from the score line out. If you go from a cut edge inwards, you can delaminate the card. So I'm just going to take the cut edge and line it up to the crease. Oh, now I don't know who Crafting with Mind, Crafting the Mindful Way New Day is, but absolutely, you got the, got it absolutely there. Oh, Karen, that's so sweet. Hi, Chris. I'm I'm okay at the moment. Um, I'm just, I had to take some time off, kind of out. Um, and being in, being on the Norway trip actually was great. Um, just talking with people and not worrying about my business. Um, my guest was great at making sure that I switched off. I even had a wristband that said switch off on it. And if I, if I started talking business, she just tapped my wrist, which was hysterical, but very good. Right, so I've stuck all of those together burnish them so that they stick well. You can use tear and tape. You can use um, seal plus obviously, and you can use multi-purpose glue, but the multi-purpose glue obviously takes longer. Right, so as if by magic, they fit together really snugly. So there you are. So it's a nice, I mean, they, they gape a little at this point because what I need to do is actually shape them in. So what I need to do is a bit of that, just to encourage them to be straight. Um, but thank you all, that's so kind. Um, so yeah, there you are, quick box. So the way to look at, I'm. I've done how to make a box a few times. I'm going to do some of that as well. Oh, bless you, Carol. There is no point in me trying to kill myself. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, not doing it again. Um, anyway, so there you are. That's how to make that box. So it's your, your waste pieces are that and so out of a sheet of A4 card, that's all I've got left by doing the box that size. Now, obviously it's a size for something as opposed to something specific, um, but boxes are always, <laughs> it's that simple shares. Any box that is basically, you know, six sides is pretty simple. There are different styles and I have done um, a couple of mini series on how to make a box. In fact, I did some over Christmas and how to make the same size box, I think three different ways. Can't remember now. Anyway, um, that's how you make a box. So you won't watch me now because you you'll all know how to do it. Anyway, joking apart. So there you are. That is my project for today. So I hope you found that fun. Um, as I say, I I encourage you to look at the back of the catalogue uh, because a there's these dies, but let me sh let me show you the back of the catalogue. People just don't look. So these are the what I would call the standalone dies. So we have got uh, wanted to say, which has got happy birthday, feel better soon, celebrate, and you're too kind with various layers and flowers. That's a new set. Um, no. Nested Essentials, which are stitched and are different shapes. Um, I'm so pleased you've enjoyed it, Shaz. And New Day, Crafting the Mindful Way. Um, the Patchwork Pieces, which I have showed you, shown you before, those are new. Paper Florist, we've just used. Paper Petal Patterns, I haven't got yet, but that's standalone. Gorgeous Garden, standalone. Um... Um, bum, bum. Uh, delightful doily hybrid is standalone although I think it kind of goes with one of the other sets but so it's on page 97 
what did I think it went with? Because I think I thought it went with something else. Obviously doesn't. Right, so yes, delightful doily hybrid. So it is a die and an embossing folder. Brilliant backgrounds, exactly what it says on the tin. Um, and that's it, but lots of standalone dies. Oh, while I remember, if you want an alphabet set, alphabet a la mode, apparently we have loads. So if you want an alphabet set, which does um, doubles of the frequently used letters, that's the one to look for. And they're beautifully slim. Great for cards, great for scrapbooks. So there we go. Let's bring that back in. Although I'm about to flip the camera up, so that's not going to be much use. Uh, the nested essentials are amazing, Brenton. Absolutely. Um, Carol always loves box making. Please share your... Oh, Shaz, you're so nice. Thank you, Margaret. Subscribe to my channel. Yes, I like it. Uh, what is a standalone mean? It means it doesn't go with a stamp set. So these, the petals, don't have a stamp set. They just, they are just a standalone die set. So let's go back. Let's go back here. So if we look at these, uh, you'll see that. So the scallop contour dies you can use on their own, but they coordinate with the colour and contour stamp set. The sending dies coordinate with sending smile stamp set. So that's what I mean. So stylish shapes are standalone, but they've, they've been around a while, but they don't have a coordinating die set. Now, some of these used, some of the dies used to be bundles. If they coordinate, excuse me, if they coordinate with the stamp set, they probably used to be a bundle, but now aren't because they're only a bundle in one catalog. But these are standalone because they do not work with a specific stamp set. Yeah, I think that. So things like the sentiment silhouettes um, coordinate with the charming sentiment, charming sentiment stamp set. You wouldn't actually be able to do much with the dies unless you had the stamp set, whereas tailor-made tags, standalone, you can use on their own. Does that make sense? Barbara, I'm fine. I have been getting a little not fine, but I'm fine. Thank you. Um, I was just saying that I'm going to have a bit of a shake up of exactly what I do and when I do it. Um, I will be still be doing a live. Do not stress um, when that is exactly, which day and all that stuff. Haven't quite decided yet. Patricia, you're very welcome. Always happy to answer questions. On the subject of which, if you're watching this on the replay and you want to ask a question, just leave it in the bit, the comment section below the description bar. Always happy to answer questions. I'm up to date with my answers on comments. Yay. Um, right, I'm going to flip the camera back up so I can say goodbye properly. Hello. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. These are the most amazing dies. I have scratched the surface on what you can do with these. Um, so do have a look at them. As I say, they feature largely on the back of the catalogue. This isn't just those dies, but a lot. Shake it up, rock and roll. Absolutely, Patricia. Uh, sorry, Barbara, sorry, I was going squint-eyed there. So yes, have a, have a look at these. Um, if you want to do really jazzed up boxes. You can use these at Christmas as well. Christmas roses, lovely. Um, so yes, have a look. I'll take a look at your other box. Shaz, I think, I've, I think I've got a playlist for boxes and bags. So have a look, but I definitely did some between Christmas and New Year um, because I did it as a mini series. But I will be doing more boxes and bags because they're fun to make and you don't just want to see cards all the time. So there you go. Thank you very much indeed. I hope you have had a, had a fantastic day. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. If you don't already subscribe, as Shaz has already said, it would be lovely if you would. Um, it does make a difference 
to me if you do subscribe. Um, and yeah, there'll be more content coming soon. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.